Congratulations, Teachers on Fire. You've just created a new Google Classroom. You might be at the beginning of a semester or a term or a unit or a year, and there's a lot of exciting learning ahead, and I'm happy for you. But I've got one tip about the very first thing you should do after setting up your Google Classroom at the middle or high school level, and that is disable student posts, but allow comments. Let me explain. I teach in a middle school, and I love middle schoolers. They make me laugh every single day and they're the reason that I do this work. But I'll tell you this, when students find the power to create their own posts in my Google Classroom stream, things can quickly get out of control like a pounding herd of orcs thundering across the plain or wherever orcs travel in Lord of the Rings. Not today, students. Now listen, student conversation and comments in the Google Classroom spaces are really, really important and we want to make sure they are happening. We want students to be able to ask questions about learning activities activities, make suggestions for class activities, encourage other students, respond to your questions. All of those things are really, really healthy and we want to make sure they are happening. But it's an entirely different game to manage comments versus posts. If students have the freedom to create their own posts, you are going to bear the burden of monitoring and managing every post that appears in your classroom throughout the year. And that's a little different because the posts can quickly overwhelm the entire feed, whereas even a runaway a freight train of spamming comments will not take over your feed. They will be nested within one post and that's a lot different for you. That's a different result and a different visual for any student who visits your Google Classroom. Have I convinced you yet? Here's how to make the change. First, log into your Google Classroom. Second, find the settings icon near the top right. Scroll down to general and you'll notice right here beside stream, the default setting is students can post and comment. Open it up and select students can only comment. Then hit save in the top right. And congratulations, you're all finished. You've just taken an important first step to optimize your practice, preserve your sanity, and support your learners. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for another important move you can make in Google Classroom. And until then, keep that fire for learning, burning bright teachers on fire, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.